All right. Let's reveal. We have Crab Brave over there. I mean, I guess we go. I think it's Trainer Sentinels. Crab Brave is is too. It's too volatile for this. Achieve a ten loss streak. Connect Orn and Volley Bear. Don't swap out champions on stage three. That's easy. Now the hard ones that I'm thinking about. That's hard. Trainer Sentinels. Okay, cool. So we have Sniper, Ink Shadow, and Fortune. We could do Fortune. We could do Fortune. Reach level 8 without re-rolling. That seems a little rough. That seems a little rough. But we have the Fortune, so like, why not? Achieve a 10 loss streak could, could, mean, could mean that, you know? I, if I actually get, you know, the, the units for it. Ink Shadow Sniper, though. I don't want to sell the Caitlyn, I want to sell the Kog'Maw. Ink Shadow game wouldn't be bad. Win with units only in the middle two rows. That's easy to do early, so I'll do that early. So let's make that work. Um, the heal and shield is in here, there's Senna. Okay. Probably get rid of that for this. Because, like, these two, they're they're pretty good backline on their own. I don't have any fortune units, though. And the game with exactly zero gold, that's something I could do. Achieve a 10 loss streak is something that I could very easily do, especially with that. Three star, two cost is where it gets difficult. But I can play Senna. But I can play Senna. Road less traveled. Gain a Zyra. Mm, don't think so. Raid boss? Not today. What doesn't kill you? What doesn't kill you is absolutely what I need right now. So, only in the middle two rows. Um, we want to play Ink Shadow or Story Weaver. I really can't. But what I can do is I can sell one of these Kalens and I can sell one of these for the Gnar. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. I wanted to I wanted to lose streak. In which case, I do this. 10 lost streak. We just we just kind of we just kind of send it. Oh wait. No, we want to lose. We want to win once and then we'll then we want to lose. All right, so this is our win. This is our win. We're going to we're going to titans this guy. Sword this guy. And then after that, we're going to sell him and then we're going to then we're going to just go for losses. Um, timeout and augment selection is also something I could do, but we just hit uh, win with units only in the middle two rows. Good. Now we want to get a 10 loss streak. Right? Because we could do... Activate 8 traits is a little tough. Activate 5 non-unique traits. I do see this in here, though. Like, that heal or shield is very tough to do, but, I mean... There's also a lot of connects on this one. End a game with a full item bench? I I mean, like, I already have a remover. Like, that could happen. Now we want to lose. Anybody playing Fortune? No. Nobody's really going Fortune. So... We want to do... We don't need... We don't need middle two rows anymore. So now we do something like this. Right, just in some some units out there. Um, time out and augment selection is easy. Is it cheating if you get the win or lose streak encounter? No. No, of course not. Encounters exist, you know. But I'm thinking that this line is pretty easy. Like this, like this diagonal right here seems pretty easy. So I feel like it's these two right here, but I'm, I'm not going to, I'm just still going to go for whatever I can. Zoe, Diana, Bard, Kindred. Okay. Six artifact items. Okay. I mean, I just triple Mogul's mill him, right? 
Or I triple Mogul's Mail Diana. Well, actually, no, I whole crush your Mogul's Mail, Mogul's Mail him. Oh, it's, it's unique. Interesting. Okay. Well, then I guess we Mogul's Mail, Mogul's Mail up here or something. You do this. Just don't place the DFG. Oh, the hole crusher wasn't active. Silly me. I feel like that's okay, though. I feel like the hole crusher might have been too strong. At this point, I feel like I'll just have enough resistances to get the uh, Mogul's Mill, hopefully. Wait, maybe not. Hold up. Maybe not. Maybe? Maybe, though? Maybe? Got my two gold. Let's go! Poggers. Alright. Have 120 gold in the bank. That's pretty easy as well. Win with at least one champ of each cost. That's a good one, too. We could go for this for this uh, line as well. That's not bad. I mean, if I if I hit fortune, I hit fortune. Like, why not? Why not go for it? Um, but the connects that we want to do, Annie and Amumu. Annie and Mumu is pretty easy because we're already going to have the fortune out. So we're going to be going for that. We're going to be going for Zoe Diana as well. We already, we're already going to have Zoe, right? Because we can do Zoe into... We already have a Diana as well. Zoe into what? Zoe into what? Zoe into what? So Dragon Lord. This is Story Weaver. Story Weaver Sage, that's what it is. So it's Zyra. Okay. So we go Zoe Zyra. Uh oh. I might actually win this one. Kogma, I think, should be good though. End the game with a full item bench. I could see I could see that working out really easily too. I also need to make it so that I don't swap out any of my champions on my board for all of stage three. So once if I'm gonna be doing any rolling, I have to do it at Krugs. Like if I'm gonna be going for fortune. There's fortune. Now we can do uh, this here. Like that. Cool. Fortune three. We get four. Four fortune. Everybody's stronger than me. Cool. Alright, so... We want to do... Let me open up a notepad real quick. So we need for Zoe... We do Zoe into... Um, Zyra... Into Diana. We do... Annie into Zoe into um, the other girl. What's her face? What's her face? Alawi. Alawi or we do Lux into a Mumu. We want to connect Bard with Kindred. Bard is Bard is mythic trick shot. Bard is mythic trick shot, so I also need to stop playing this Diana cuz she's going to be way too strong. Oh. Wait. Oh no, actually Ah, man. Alright, well, now I'm now I'm stuck with the Diana, actually. Because I forgot to take her out. Okay. 
and that's that's a part of that's right here don't swap out any champions on my board for all of stage three i'm stuck with it there's my zoe so there's my zoe i can't play at this stage but you yeah, know that's fine that's fine i think we actually like huddle up here a little bit away from a full item bench should be pretty easy to accomplish um, bard kindred so bard kindred we want reaper dryad faded there's no faded trick shot how do you do bard I feel like this two-star Diana might actually might actually harm someone though. Maybe that's actually what I need though. Oh well, turned to the wrong unit. Rip. All right, so let's figure this out. We want to do Bard into Kindred, Golden Remover. Okay, I don't think that's the play. Lunch money? No. Keepers is very bad. We go for a rolling for days. Okay. Fortune trick shot. Is there any way I can make that work? We can go fortune bruiser. Yeah, so that's how we do it. So we're going to do Kabuko into Teemo. Into, actually, so it's Kindred. So Rek'Sai, Kabuko, Kindred, right? Kindred. Rek'Sai, Kabuko. Tom Kench, Bard. Or I can go Fortune Trick Shot. It's 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 actually it's Teemo in there instead. It's Teemo in there. That's how we do it. Okay. I need Rek'Sai then. I actually don't need the Tom Kench. All right, four away from from my uh, from my full win streak or my full loss streak. Reach level eight without re-rolling. I'm definitely not getting that. I think I have everything that I really need to do, though. I think I'm just going to be rolling for like a three-star Teemo. Three-star Teemo, I feel like is is a is a pretty good idea. So Bard and Kindred. Especially with the rolling for days. We're gonna go one more fortune cash out. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we have enough time for it. Hopefully it's a low roll. Actually, I mean I'm gonna get a 15. I'm gonna get a 16 luck cash out here. I don't know. I am getting pretty low. I can only survive for three more, so it's probably a little greedy to do it. Yeah, it's probably not worth. Probably not worth. Actually, we need Lux. We need Lux for Amumu. Okay, so the units that we actually need, let me actually pull them up from my notepad. So we have those. We're going to do Bard. Oh, wait. Am I looking for something here? Bard. Bard, Bard, Bard. Cool. All right, so I think we have all these, so we should be good to do Bard, Teemo, Kabuko, Rek'Sai, Kindred. Yes, I have all those. Oh, but I can't swap them out yet. I can't swap them out yet. I need to wait until uh, the end of stage three. I'm gonna cash out. TG. That's cool. So I can put a unit in. What do I want? I just can't swap them out. I can put them in. I just can't swap them out. And I think that it's... It's 
more damage, right? I think it's Zoe. I do have the five fortune, which is the funny part. If I get a fortune crest, I'm definitely like... I'm definitely like just, just playing this game, playing this game. All right, we're at eight. We are at eight. Two more rounds and then we are done. Actually, yeah, this. I'm glad that I didn't push my luck. That would have been insane. Cool. We want to stay at level six because we want to hit our Teemo. Okay, so we have the Rek'Sai. So it's going to be... Actually, I don't need this Senna, like, ever. Yeah, I can sell that. Item component. My bench is full. Cool. Two more rounds, two more rounds. Is anybody going Teemo? No, nobody's going Teemo. Okay, Teemo's the play. Oh man. Okay. Well, at least before our roll down, at least before our roll down, we'll be able to um, swap out our, our units. All right. Let's fix up our positioning a little bit. And then we will uh, we'll change things up here. But we need to keep Kabuko in, and then like everything else on this bottom right is going to swap out for these four, so that I can... Uh, so that way I can connect Bard and Kindred. Alright. Kindred and Bard connected. And we can sell these two. We put Fortune back in. Right. We don't want this guy anymore. We want Sage now. Oh, I just lost her. There she is. Oh, sheesh. Let's just do this. I don't want to do like anything else yet. I really need this lost streak. Alright. 10 lost streak and then we can uh, then we can just make whatever whatever power we need. Cool. Let's get out of fortune. Hey Vivu. Alright, so 10 lost streak. Cool. Oh, we also had uh, Bard and Kindred. Um, I don't want to time out this augment selection. We're gonna reinforcement. Yeah, sure, I'll take the Silas. That sounds fine to me. Because then we'll do that over this. That's fine. Uh, we'll do Zoe. We don't want that. Uh, we don't need any of these anymore. Sage. Titans. Deathblade, Last Whisper, Redemption, we have Bloodthirster, TG, alright, hopefully that's enough, hopefully that's enough, now I need to just roll, Zoe's, hmm, I need a duelist. I need a duelist. I want to take out Teemo actually, so I'm gonna I'm I'm going to have him so that I can field the two the the three star two cost. 
right? But, yeah. Take that out. Don't want Bard. I want Duelist. Sage. That's a really good Sage. That's a- oh my god. What do I even do with that? Go for... Okay. Oh, also I hit this- this goal too. We just go Zaya with these items. We go Trick Shot, even- even still. Yeah, seems pretty good. We just go Dragon Lord with it. Then we can roll for Janna as well. I'm just trying to stabilize and then I can hit like the other goals. Yes, we go for this. Zoe and Diana. Oh, actually, I have Zoe and Diana already. I already did that once. Let me find another Zoe just so just so I have it there to begin with. Because I have the Zyra in. I just need to find a Zoe and then I'll put it back in. I think I'm going to ditch this, uh, this, this girl, though. Yeah, there's a Zoe. Let's, um, let's just put her in. Then we have Zoe and Diana. Cool. We'll do her. Here. We will... Drop Fortune. We'll do Dragon Lord. With this right here. I have the trick shot. Okay. I need to put the Janna in, which means I need to take out Kiana. But I need another Heavenly for that, so probably Nico. But now it's going to be really hard to hit the uh, two costs. Annie Amumu is something else I need to look for. So I already have I already have the Lux. I already have the Lux. Now I need to hit um, Amumu. Amumu, Annie, and Azoe again. Player health? Sure. Honestly, give that to me. I will take that every time here. There's a Lowie. There's Annie. Actually, there was a Zoe there. I could. I think I could have uh, done that. Take this out for Dragon Lord. I think. Riven. What is Riven giving me? Just Bruiser. Hmm. Probably better to just do Heavenly instead. There's a Mumu. Alright, so let's let's figure that out next round. You have five non-unique traits, right? Uh I don't see it on here. Oh yeah, there is. Yeah, five well, I had five non-unique traits at some point, right? I don't know if I don't know if I ever did, but I have four non-unique and I have two unique right now. Had? Yeah, I think I had it at some point. I'll mark it. Alright, so it was... I need Zoe? Need Zoe? Ditch this, I guess. There's a Lowie. Oh, come on. There's Zoe. Alright, so we can we can figure this out. So it's going to be So this is the this is this is how it goes. It goes 
Amumu, Lux, Zoe, Annie, right? So Amumu, Porcelain, Arcanist, Fortune. Cool. All right, so let's not pick up anything. We're gonna we're gonna connect those, and then we then we have that goal. Cool. So we have those. Now we can sell all these. Connect Annie and Amumu. Nice. Gargoyles over here. Actually, no, it's Titans over here. That's what it is. I'm on two lives. I need this Teemo. I need this Teemo. Then I have everything. If I have this Teemo, then then I uh, then I then I'm already at it. But I don't have a line yet. Right, because I can just sell everything and then that ends up um, making my bench full. And then I just need to roll down in order to uh, to have zero gold. Teemo, please. No, that's, that's, that's not happening. Maybe it is. It's I ever con. Oh, I never built titans over there. Crazy. That's crazy, crazy. Also, I should probably take off the other titans and put it on him, too. Especially since I'm not actually... Oh my god. Good thing I took that player health, right? Yeah, that's what I was... Yeah, that's that's what I'm marking, is I'm trying to mark that, that one over there and then end game with, with full item bench. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do. But I, I need a, I need this Teemo. I really, really need this Teemo. Give me rerolls. Give me rerolls, please. Deathblade, Deathcap. Okay. There's Teemo. Almost. 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 I do I go for it? I think I have to go for it. Right? Am I really not going to find this? That's so sad. Well, there's one line. <laughs> there's one line. Damn. Against all odds. But you know what that is? That's the one line world record. <laughs> Alright, champ dupe. Champ dupe. We are we are gaming the system. Give me the three star two cost. If we get a caretaker's if we get caretaker's ally, we absolutely take it. And then we just like level up like crazy. But yeah, two line you should definitely be able to do within one game most times. Completed anvil? Damn. I wanted the champ dude, man. Yikes. 
Yikes. Okay, so what two cost is nobody gonna go for? Janna? Yorick? Zyra? People probably won't go for Zyra 3, but they're probably gonna be contested because of Storyweaver. If I had to guess. Maybe Kiana 3. Maybe. There's Janna. Alright, go all in for Janna 3. Easy peasy. No one is taking is taking old man suck for show. True. Unless I mean, if if somebody gets umbral shovel, I gotta watch out for that. That's that's the one thing I gotta watch for is if somebody has umbral shovel. You know what else I could do? I could do this line. Win with only two costs. Ethereal blades. And I know this this is not the way that you're supposed to do it. But yeah. Win with units and only in the front row. I probably should have done that one too. That's what I should have done. Damn. But the ethereal blades should make this fight really easy. Cool. We got win with only two cost units. Easy. Then we can reach level 8 without re-rolling, too. Upcoming opponent for the rest of the game? Okay. Alright. That makes certain things easy. Ghostly. Nice. Now we do only front row. And then we do a behemoth. Oh, I'm yeah, I got this fight easy. Easy. Yeah, I think I'm definitely just going for the three star Shen though. Because with this comp, I mean, you're you're trying to go for three three uh, two costs. Just kind of works out. We're not going for any of these though. All right, cool. Win with only units in the front row. Now this is easy. This is really easy. We just go fast eight. Instead of caring about anything else, we just go fast eight. And we just never reroll. That's that's what we got to do. So we keep up our power by doing something stupid like this. Put Shen in second row because of Ethereal Blades, and he has Sunfire. Like, unless a whole bunch of Shens fall in my lap, or if I get, like... Prismatic Ticket or something. If I get Prismatic Ticket, of course I'm going for it.
There's no reason to time out an augment selection. Yeah, I mean, these are the only two things that are really worth going at the moment. Just a matter of going for uh, level 8 here. So we go Rage Blade if we can. We can't, though. Our first two to go. Is Nashers okay on him? I feel like Nashers isn't bad. Eh, it's okay. Doesn't matter. Go, Shen, go. Do your thing. Pop them all. Bam. 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 Could you imagine, though, like... I would have saved, like, 15 minutes if I had, if I had just hit the... Uh, if I had just hit the Teemo in the last game. That would have been... Crazy. Would have been crazy good. Facing this guy. I feel like this is still best positioning. Maybe more so like this. Probably sell the Yorick too, since we're going fast eight. If we get anything that gives us, um, like, a whole bunch of gold on on 3-2, we just take it. Go, Shen, go. Pop him. Murder him. Destroy him. Bam. There he goes. On a 100 streak, by the way. Five streak. That's kind of crazy, given the circumstances. Just play Ghostly Ink Shadow. Go the Tattoo of Bombardment. Nice. Sick. Remember, don't re roll. Don't re-roll. Never re-roll. We're not re-rolling. Re-rolling is for losers. That's a behemoth. That's a better behemoth, actually. Never re-roll. That's why you have the least sin, because you never re-roll. Right? That's exactly why. Facing this guy. We position like this then. We'll do just a random warmogs on Alawi. We're almost there. If we get a uh, if we get a an econ augment here at three two, it's over. That's all we need. What we got, what we got. Yeah, 
King Shadow Crest, Crash Test Dummies. Give me something with money, please. You could time out an augment selection if nothing's good. Yeah, but like... Eh? Blacksmith's Gloves isn't bad. You could actually... There's some, there's some money generation items. You know? I could get like... Vogel's Mail. Get like Gambler's Blade. Just put that on uh, on Mr. Aatrox over here. See, look at that. Goldmancer Staff Hole Crusher. Great. Fantastic. Alright, so a couple more rounds. We should be level 8. How much... Uh, what's, what's the XP that you need in order to get level 8? Is it 48? Is that what it is? Just want to know how close I am. Meanwhile, I'm over here still wind streaking. They have no idea that they uh, that, that I'm about to surrender. Oh my god! Look at this guy. He's going nuts. XP thresholds for TFT. What is it? Um, it is to get to level 8. 48, yeah. So, we need... Like, one more round, I think we can do it. One more round, I think we can do it. Then we should be good. We should, uh, we should have our world record. We have 10 viewers? What the hell? That's crazy. Guys, if, if you're not following, be sure to follow. And join my Discord if you, if you like this uh, this whole like speedrunning thing. Alright, I think we can do it this round. I think we're good. We get 14, right? Well, I think, well, yeah, 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 yeah. You're watching two streams at the same time? That's crazy. Carousel over here to, uh, to just make sure that we have enough money. I could have also sold my, my board, by the way. That would have also been a great way of doing it. Just give me whatever, whatever is most expensive here. Thanks. Alright. GG. There we go, level 8. And that's time. 4312. World's first two line speed run. GG, y'all. And you know, those of you those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow my Twitch for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye guys.